today we are working on another one of our different faces sims this is jane seymour i believe we're on jane seymour number three but don't quote me because i can be wrong uh today we're actually picking oh gosh what is her name Kate Phillips. Kate Phillips from Wolf Hall. I don't know why I wanted to call her Kate Willis, but it's Kate Phillips from Wolf Hall. I was really excited when I saw the casting for this originally, just because she seemed very different than a lot of the other Jane Seymours that have been cast, and she fit a little bit more into like that plain Jane. I hate to use that phrase, but it's too good. I have to use it. Like she fit into the idea of Jane Seymour was not someone that was going to specifically stand out in a crowd. That doesn't mean that she was unattractive or anything like that. It just she wasn't noticeable. She was kind of meant to blend in. That's what Henry liked about her. Is she was just the ideal quiet, meek woman that he wanted after abruptly changing his mind over his two first two wives. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't, don't want to think about it. But yeah. She was what he wanted, and I really liked this casting. I think that she fit that kind of concept of Jane Seymour. When I was picking, you know, which Janes that I wanted to do, she was on the list pretty much from the beginning because, again, I liked that casting. I liked her face, essentially, and I really wanted to try and create that. I don't think that I'm 100% successful in my, or I was 100% successful. There's something about the nose that I just couldn't get right. It might have been the skin that I picked. I don't know, but overall I really do think that I got pretty dang close to mimicking her face in The Sims, and I'm curious to see when we do the genetic part of this how her child ends up looking, because she is very different from the Henry VIII sculpt, and in Sims 2 that either turns out really well or really, really badly, so... We're gonna have to find out <laughs> which which end that they got on that. But yeah, I really I like that she has very wide set eyes. I like kind of her nose shape is like not snub, but still short. And she's got like a little bit of a dimple in her chin and just she could look a bit stubborn, but also not stubborn, if that makes any kind of sense. I don't know, I just I really liked her face. Which seems like a weird thing to say. It is a weird thing to say. It doesn't seem like a weird thing to say. It is a weird thing to say. But here we are making Sims and talking about how we like people's faces. That's how we roll. I do have to say, she, like I mentioned, she's different than all the other castings, but it makes me wonder if that was intentional. Like if they picked her because she kind of just breaks the Jane Seymour casting mold. Because there's been a lot of different types of women cast as Jane Seymour, and she just doesn't really seem to fit into any of them. She's not really the milksop, she's not really, you know, the schemer. She, facially speaking, is just very different. I'm not going to comment on Wolf Hall. I, I will comment on the books. I do like the books. Yeah, there's probably a bias there, but they're very enjoyable. They're they're good. Especially compared to some historical fiction books that I've read that are atrocious, and we all know which ones those are if you read Tudor fiction. Yeah. Um, I, went, I went with this hair because it had the right part. I know it has a braid, but I already knew that I did not have the right hood for this, because the ones in Wolf Hall are very, very more like snoods almost like they're very small I don't know why but they are I also knew that I did not have the right dress like she almost had like a collared thing going on and I didn't have that I had this one that she's wearing now I ended up going with a different one but yeah I, I knew I didn't have the right dress I also didn't have the sleeve the one with the sleeves which would have made me very happy because I do like that dress with like the blue peeking out but overall I'm happy with it curious to know what you guys thought of this particular pr portrayal of Jane Seymour, if this was one that you enjoyed more or less than perhaps some of the other ones that have come up. I know I'm not really picking like the main headliners it feels like, but this is one of- I, I feel like this is one of the, the main- you think of Jane Seymour castings, this is 
at least now, this is one of them. But yeah, I'm curious to know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like, and I will see you in the next one.